Right, up we go. So as I was, as I was saying before, it's, it's really not, it's not about selling. And, I, and personally, I believe that there's a difference between selling and marketing. Very closely related, but not the same thing. Um, I believe that selling is focused on the seller's product and how to turn that product into cash. What you guys are doing, at least what you've proven to do, is that your marketers, and a marketer is someone who's focused on the whole product, the, the creation, the delivery, the, consumer, the consuming of the product. That's, that's the difference between selling and marketing. So the tools that you will use, the tools that you have in your arsenal that help you to market your product, I'm one of those tools. At least the technology we have is one of those tools. Just like TV is one of those tools. You don't have a campaign that only runs on TV. It runs on print, runs on billboard, runs digital, and so on. So mobile is just one of the other ways that you can use and you can utilize for projects that you're on. Um, briefly tell you about why group and sort of where we come from. We started in 2007. Um, we currently work with and um, provide tech solutions to pick and pay and shop right. And those are the groups, so it's not just the pick and pay name or the pick and pay shop, but it's a whole group from Boxer, which is right at the bottom, all the way to the pick and pay, your supermarket, your family market, and so on. Um, ShopRite, the ShopRite group, again, starting from the bottom with uh, YouSave, ShopRite, Checkers, Hypermarket. So throughout the entire group, and everything that I'll show you is you can go to pick, to pick and pay, or at least pick and pay is coming online very shortly, and ShopRite is already online, um, which is why I've encouraged you to download the the Checkers app, which is actually really cool. Um, we also work with Hungry Lion, which is part of the ShopRite group, um, KFC, Nando's, Kawaii, Premi, Spur. So we've had a lot of experience, a lot of lear learnings. Um, we quite heavily involved with Mixit in terms of providing tech. Um, and so it's really about cross, cross brands and cross industries. Um, we work with the Fushini group. I'll show you what we've, what we've done for the Fushini group there, um, with Engine and with MTN. Um, and as, as you might have read in the paper, in the media recently, MTN, um, pick and pay the time, T-Y-M-E. Check that out, that's really cool. That's a sort of a banking solution with pick and pay. Um, cast an eye on that. So for now, I'm just gonna focus on, on the tech and how you can use that. Right, so why do we do mobile? Everything in life is about why do you do what you do? It's not how good you are at it, it's not how amazing you are, it's why do you do it? And we do mobile because we've seen a trend in the world. And when we started, it, we actually weren't doing exactly what we're doing today. It was more of a mobile wallet. It was called Y Wallet before, you might have heard of it. And then we realized actually that's that's not where the trend is going. Why are we doing what we're doing? H and how do we do it? Okay, so then we realize that, well, there's, the new stats are 5.9 billion uh, phones, handsets, 74.1 billion people on the planet. That's 83%. That tells you something already. There's mobile phones, smartphones are outnumbering mo uh, TVs four to one. I mean, there was a time when you had one TV in your house. You probably have two, three, or four now. But think about how many handsets you've gone through in the last four years, in the last two years, in the last 12 months. So don't laugh, but I've tried to be really creative. Okay. In Uganda, there's more mobile phones than there are light bulbs. Now think about what that means. Light bulbs, electricity. Mobile phones need charging. How do they charge it? Interesting. More mobile phones than light bulbs in Uganda. Um, so really, we're starting to see a trend where more people are accessing the internet through mobile phones and PC. Um, there's over 100 million YouTube videos that, are, that have been watched on a mobile phone. Um, to over 25 billion app downloads um, in, the iStore, in the app iStore alone, and that's since Feb 2012 this year. 
So the kind of trend that you're starting to see, it's really, it looks like a hockey stick curve where it starts off really slow and it just shoots right up. And what does it mean? What does it mean for all businesses? What does it mean for us as marketers, as agencies? Doesn't matter if you're a digital agency or not. What does it mean for your brand? What does it mean for your team? For the current project you're working on? How does this interpret to that? How do you, how do you start applying to it? Um, over 500 million people will be using their phones for money transfer by 2014. That's a lot of people. Since the F&B app came out, I probably, I think I've been in an F&B branch once in the last three or four months. I just don't need to anymore. I just go on my phone. And that shows you the power of a mobile phone. And the one, the one example I always use is so many times when I leave the house, I'm scatterbrains. But the one thing I always have is my phone. And I promise you, if you leave the house without your wallet, you can make do. If you leave the house without a pen, your laptop, you can probably make do. Well, that's your phone. You feel like your life is coming to an end. It's like, what am I going to do? No Twitter, no Facebook. It's crazy. So the product that I specifically want to show you today is called Y Coupon. And it's a couponing product. Um, and it's mainly aimed at brands. And it, it's mainly aimed at, at uh, um, agencies. Um, I'm going to show you how some of our clients have used it and how they're applying the tech. And then we're going to end off basically showing you how you could use it as well. So this is not the only way that, it, that it's used. And it's certainly not, um, it's not the end of it all. But it's just some ways to show you how some of our clients have used it. So how does it work? What is Y Coupon? Well, we give you um, access to a portal where you can create a campaign. And this includes things like start date, end date, the campaign name, and so on. Where do you want your campaign to be live? Oh, at Pick and Pay, Vida Cafe, at Kauai, and so on. Okay. You then issue out those vouchers, which are one-time codes, sort of a, an OTP of sorts, to the relevant channel that you've linked it to. And that channel can be anything from social media, it can be text-based, it can be Moby site, it can be USSD. It really depends what product you're working on um, and, and what, what target market you're looking for. Irrespective of where you've issued it out, it always comes on a phone, it's mobile. And that's what it would look like. So it would say, please give this uh, code to your cashier to get your discount. And it has, typically, it's about six to nine digits. 763987, cashier captures it into the POS. Success confirmation, easy. And then you have all your reports and analytics. So your reports, we've, we've tried to be as detailed as possible. What does that mean? Basically, you can go as far down as who issued out, where were they issued. If you've issued out across multiple channels, you can see, OK, Facebook is getting this much uh, tracking. Uh, USSD, SMS, where are the guys redeeming? Which stores are they redeeming at? Around about what time are they redeeming at? Who is redeeming these things? Is it 25-year-old black males, or is it 35-year-old uh, white females, it's funny because we thought our product was aimed at students and suddenly we're seeing a spike in middle-aged women redeeming in Santon and why, how is this, what, what does this mean for my brand? So it's a lot of learnings out of that. These are some of our clients that we work with. Um, ShopRite, like I mentioned, Pick and Pay and so on. So it's really about finding what you want to do, how you want to engage with your customers and where that middle layer. All right, so let's have a look at some case studies. Um, social media, I know that's big. So this is the current one that is sort of running at the moment. If you have a look at the Facebook page, Clover, it says uh, it's basically aimed at women, moms who do a lot. They wake up in the morning. They get the kids ready. Uh, you know, the husband is doing his thing, Everyone, everyone's trying to play a part, and it's so hectic. You get back home at 6 o'clock, you're tired, you've got to cook. Basically, what they said is, tell us why you deserve one night off, and we will give you 250 rand uh, kawaii voucher for a meal for you and your family or your partner. Um, so this is ongoing. You should actually go and enter it and see the mechanics. It's a beautiful way to experience the kind of tech that we do and how it comes to your phone if you win, which hopefully some of you will. Um, and actually go into a kawaii store and redeem that code and get your meal. Just get that full experience. Um, so you click on the app, you enter your details, submit, and if you've won, it'll say congrats, you've won one night off with Clover the one, 
give this Y code to any Kawaii to redeem your 250, your 250 Rand voucher. It's that simple. And all the customer does is takes that code to the cashier, captures it, so easy. All right, the second example. Now, huge disclaimer here. This is when Facebook was still like wild, wild west, when you could pretty much pay for your likes and get away with it. You can't do this anymore. But this was, uh, Kawaii had initially set up their Facebook page incorrectly, and they had to migrate to a corporate page, to a fan page. And they didn't want to lose their fans from before. So they incentivized them and said, well, if you like a new page, we'll give you a free smoothie. Click like, pop up box, put in your number, put in your name, we SMS you a smoothie. Thanks for liking our Kawaii Facebook page. Here's a smoothie on us. It's so simple and so easy. Um, what we saw was 600 vouchers that were issued. So in other words, 600 people actually requested that code, but not everyone went to redeem. There was a 35% redemption rate, which is excellent. I don't know if you know any stats around uh, paper coupons, but if you get 1% on a paper coupon, you, you're winning. So that's just to give you an idea of what, what these stats uh, mean. So the end result there was that um, social media was used seamlessly um, moving users to a new page and, and basically rewarding them to do that, incentivizing them to do that. Now, even though you can't run this specific campaign anymore, you can use an app to do pretty much the same thing. The second example is an instant reward to employees. This is in no way linked to Marikana, let me just say that. <laughs> it's not like somehow our answer to it. Um, but basically what Impala Platinum has said, uh, we understand that our mine workers work hard. We understand that they work overtime. Yes, we do pay them for overtime. But you know the thing is, when you're getting paid for overtime, it's at the end of the month that you'll see it. It's not immediate. And when you're tired and you've been at the agency all night long working on a pitch, and I know what it's like. You, I mean, you pull 24, 48-hour working days. You haven't slept. You haven't seen your cat. I mean, these things, it's awful. What, my cat is really like an attention. Anyway. Um, so what they said was, OK, thanks for working overtime. As soon as the mine worker came out of the shaft, gave his cell phone number to his supervisor, captured it, sms him a code, thank you for working overtime. Here's a 30 rand off um, voucher at, at KFC. And then he could go to KFC and get anything for up to the value of 30 rand. What we saw happening there is actually quite interesting. So the miners started to hold on to their voucher codes until the end of the week. And then they'd put the vouchers together and buy like a huge bucket feast or, you know, which is what I'd usually buy my own anyway. But, you know, they all did it together, um, which, was, which was nice. So it, it's, it's interesting to see when these vouchers are being redeemed, when are they being issued, why are they being redeemed then? So if I'm giving you 30 Rand off at Vida, why aren't you going to use it right now? Oh, wait, two weeks later I see you. Right, that is smart. You guys are all waiting until the end because then you have a, a lot more money to spend. Okay, so all those are learnings that we got out of it. The results, 83% redemption rate. So incentivizing someone and saying thank you for working overtime. Imagine if you're, let's say, the group account director or your immediate line manager said thanks so much. You know, you've put in so much hard work on this pitch over the last couple of days. Here's a voucher for Vida. Here's a breakfast at Vida. It's on me. It's on Ogilvy. Thanks for working overtime, or you know, thanks for this year. Here's a 25 rand kawaii or a free kawaii smoothie, whatever the case might be. It's not as ridiculous. I'm sure someone would like that. <laughs> um, and this has now turned into an ongoing campaign. It's, it's done so well that, that they really like it, and it's something that's being repeated. The third example is improving fee through store. So again, something that I want to highlight is as you all know, you need to have a clear objective of what you want to achieve. You need to know it's not just about, uh, unfortunately, we live in a world where a lot of people just do their job. And that's OK if you just do your job. But you need to think about, well, yes, I am the producer. But how does that account exec's decision on this affect my production? Or maybe you're an art director, or you're a copywriter. But maybe this image just isn't working, and you need to communicate that. So if you have a clear objective, it's then easy to drill and, and communicate and actually have a route towards that objective. 
So the objective here was improving feed through store. And the store was um, Hungry Lion, and this was a cross-selling within the own retailer. So if, if you don't know, ShopRite owns Hungry Lion. Um, Hungry Lion is for the white girl up front who's going, what is Hungry Lion? It's KFC. Um, it's basically KFC, just cheaper, better. Yeah, it's really nice. You should try it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, well, you know, deep fried chicken in your face. No. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 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 first date material. Seriously. Um, so, so what they did was they started cross selling within their retailer group. Um, they said, okay, thanks for buying at Shoprite, and at the bottom of every till slip they printed a Y code. So what that number at the bottom is called a Y code, um, and you could then go into Hungry Lion and get 10 rand off your meal. And this actually worked pretty well. Um, over 38,000 vouchers were issued and a 7% redemption rate. And what we saw there was the struggling site, so it was a specific site, specific goal, there was an increase in overall sales by 30%. So what this means is if you have a clear objective and you know what you want to do, you simply find the tool and you do it. Um, if I can compare it to sometimes you want to screw something in, and I'm sure all of us have done it, and you use a butter knife to do it. Have you been in that scenario before where you need to, you have a screw, and you're like, oh man, and you can't be bothered to find a screwdriver if you have one, and you just use a butter knife. Yes, it'll tighten the screw. Yes, it'll probably turn that screw, and you probably hold your thing together, but you'll always know that job wasn't done properly. So if you have the correct tool, if you actually go and get that spanner or that screwdriver and you use it and you tighten it, you A, it's peace of mind, and B, it's a job well done. So this is about, this is the tech, this is what we do, this is how you can use it. These are some of the other ways that it can be applied. This is what I want to do, let's use it here. It's not about, well, we have a digital strategy, let's wait for that. No, it's about this is what we want to achieve, these are the tools that we have. And in this day and age where we have so much technology, we have so many different kinds of tools that we can use, it's almost unforgivable not to take advantage of it. Some learnings that I wanted to bring up. So we've looked, it's all very successful campaigns that we've had a look at, and so is this one. But I really wanted to show how important an agency is in playing, a playing a role in this. Um, this is a USSD campaign that Hungry Lion ran. Basically, it had um, in-store material promotions. You could dial a USSD string. A USSD string is a star number, number, star hash. So typically, you'd recharge if you're prepaid with a USSD string or internet banking and so on. So they were promoting a specific deal in a store. They marketed in print, so it's very important. They marketed in store. They communicated to the customer at various points. But even though they were using print and they were using USSD, they were still directing all this material here, this marketing material, was pushing them to digital. It was pushing them to mobile. This is how you're going to get what we're doing. It's not just about, OK, it's displaying on a phone. It's just about how is the agency, how is the marketing coming along? What's the marketing material around this? How does the customer find out about this deal? So install prom uh, marketing promotional, promotion materials. Um, user dials a USSD string, you enter your demographic, and you get a Y code. You get a Y coupon. Um, two things to take out of this. Great insights. You can ask someone, hey, what do you think of my new brand? What do you think about this new Valpre bottle? I know the shape changed. What about us, the consumers, about it every day? Did we have a say in this? Did someone ask, do we like it? This new top? No? Yes? Maybe? Imagine being rewarded for that. Tell us what you think of my new product, and I'll give you 10 rand off at Vida. Tell us what you think here, and I'll give you a, a free kawaii smoothie. Easy. So 73% redemption rate. Over 10,000 voucher codes that were issued. The guys are sitting in a train. The guys are sitting in a bus. He's reading his voice. He's reading the, the son. You know, that's what I like to read, certainly. So I was one of those people, and it was great. Um, it worked out really well. But this is the same deal now 
This is just to show you how important marketing is and the difference between selling that I spoke of earlier and marketing. So, like I said earlier, selling is preoccupied with turning your product into cash. Marketing is about the whole suite, the whole ensemble, how you pull it together and actually delivering a full product that works well and that answers the objectives of what you're looking for. So banner ads on Vodafone, on Vodacom Live, um, promoting the same deal, but only banner ads, no other communication whatsoever. You saw the banner ad, you clicked on it, and it sent you an SMS with a 10 rand off at Hungry Lion. So it's exactly the same deal at exactly the same store for exactly the same demographic. And how did this one perform? 176,000 impressions, click-through rate of 0.5, two redeemed. Same deal, learnings. It performed, well, not so well, to say the least. Why is that? It's about having that whole, all your tools together and saying, OK, yes, we know we're looking at mobile. Yes, we know we want to focus on mobile. But how are we going to drive the customers there? How are we going to communicate it? What other tools around it are we using? So non-targeted promotion will not necessarily lead to an increase in footfall. If, and targeting and non-targeted, I'm sure, is something that you hear every day. Um, it's really about the timing and the need to align um, everything. And it's creating a successful campaign is a lot more than just having a good deal or having a good product. In this case, it was a deal, but it's not about having a good product. A lot of people have good products. A lot of people have great ideas. Not everyone succeeds. Why? <coughs> right, so just to continue, uh, this is how some of our clients are starting to use Y code. So now we've gone through the case studies, showing you what the tech is. Um, and this is how the clients have said, OK, cool, we see it. Maybe this is how we're going to apply it for our brand. Checkers came forward and said, you know what? We see coupons. Coupons are. It's actually a really good idea. It's great to give someone a discount, especially someone that needs it. But how are we going to use it for, for our brand? We're going to create an app. So we built the Checkers couponing app. And it's so simple and so easy. You log on. Uh, you got your specials. You got your store locator. You click on specials. And it'll give you, this is more of a broadsheet, just any ShopRite special. Okay? So you've got your specials over here. And it'll tell you, OK, you're saving two rand there, you're saving one rand there, you're saving two rand there. You click whatever you want to buy, click, 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 click. And at the end, you go pay, click on pay. It gives you one code. And that one code will link across all your products and give you a discount across all the products. And how we do it is simple. As soon as, as, soon as she enters that code, it sends the pause, sends all that information to our servers. Our servers run all the relevant rules and what is this product giving back on this SKU, two for one there, 50% off here, and we push back one massive discount. So across here, you'd be looking at two, three, five. That's a five end discount. It's not one code, sort of typical paper coupons would give one, 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 one. And it's also freaking cool because it's on a smartphone. So you actually look awesome getting a coupon, saving, which I'd need because my phone costs me so much. Um, so. The other really cool aspect of it is you've got your uh, specials that are area specific. So at the top left, you'll see it says Western Cape. So you can actually filter down, go Western Cape. What's a Western Cape running? Oh, I can get that for 99 Rand. I can get um, some eggs for 22 Rand and so on. It gives you your Y code. You give that Y code to the cashier and you get your discount. And then you can also filter by store locator. So you can find your store, your closest store to you. You can get things like where is it, contact details, and so on. That's how checkers have used it, because they want to give savings to their customer base. The Fushini group said, well, we'd like you to be able to view your bill on your phone. So get the Fushini group app. You have a look, oh, that's what I'm spending. Gosh, that's, that's a lot of money. Why am I spending it on that? Okay, You register, you put in all your details, and you'll have your entire bill on your phone. And you can also buy airtime. And then the next phase of this would be to include specials and vouchers. So instead of actually going to the store, you could sit on your phone and go, well, this blouse is on special, or this skirt is on special, or whatever the case might be. And you can purchase it directly off your phone. Uh, secret agent, so the, this is insights. Well, insights is what I was speaking of earlier, where you ask the customer, 
what do you think of this? I'm going to get that. What do you think of my new bottle? Is it a good shape? On a scale of one to five, rate it. Um, would you be comfortable with the old shape or the new shape? Thanks for answering the question. Here's a reward. And you reward them with a voucher. You reward them with either KFC or Hungry Lion. You give them a percentage off at your own store. Because maybe Vida wants to know, should we open a new store in uh, Foreshore or should we open it in Gardens? And everyone can, oh, no, no, no. I think I want Foreshore because I work closer to Foreshore. OK, cool. Thanks for answering. Here's five rand off at Vida. The other app that we've built is Yapo, which is a student wallet. And this allows you to, you can pay your friend, so you can give your friend some money that you owe him. You can buy electricity. You can buy airtime. You can view store specials. And then you can pay a store as well. So once you're at the point of sale, you click pay a store, you get a code, and you pay them, and it deducts off your uh, balance. And it links quite closely to loyalty, which is something that we also do, so loyalty apps. Um, at the moment, I feel like the loyalty market is rather, uh, I wouldn't say dead, but it's, it's tedious because you've got so many different stores. And I know, I mean, when I think of my mom or my sister, the wallet is this big and all the cards in there, 99% of them are loyalty cards. It's like, uh, I don't even get around to using them. Woolworths, you have a My School card, you have a Woolworths card, you have a rewards card, you have all sorts of cards. And that's just for one store. So what we do with loyalty is we do the same thing. That would just say Woolworths or pick and pay, get a code, gives you a code, cashier captures the code, and immediately earns you your 5% or your 7% into your, into your um, app. So that's where I wanted to stop. Um, and I wanted to chat to you about some ideas that I had how you can use Y coupon. Um, so we've looked at how some of the case studies and how some of the clients are using it. And it's really about focusing more on the needs of your consumer and applying the tech to that. Um, I'm from Kenya, and Mpesa is a Kenyan product. And Mpesa was developed not because someone wanted to be rich, but because most of us in Kenya simply don't have access to a bank. It's too far away. And we needed an easier way to transact. And therefore, the need gave birth to the product. And that's how the tech is now being used. So Mpesa has actually come to South Africa. Um, and Pick and Pay has very similar, um, very similar answer to it, which is time that I spoke of earlier, TYME. Um, so it's about what is the need? What is my objective? What do I want to do? OK, how can I use this tech to make sure that I do it? Um, I know that you handle craft, which is stimerol, chlorets, that. So an instant reward there. An instant reward is something as simple as, thanks for buying a packet of chlorets. Here's a Y code to get uh, a five rand off at checkers instantly. So there's no, it's just, thanks for buying my product, boom. I'm rewarding you for buying my product. I'm saying thank you for buying my product. It's that easy. An instant reward is thanks for working overtime. There you go. There's a voucher code for Kawaii, or for Vida, or for KFC. So that's one of the ways you can use it for that. Um, you can also plug it into the ShopRite app that we went through just now. So basically, you can say, well, you know what? I want to see what Valpre does. Let's, let's just see if we gave two rand of Valpre. Would people buy it more, but would buy it less? Does a discount matter? Is it about two for one? Is it about? partnering with another product, maybe it's not about a discount. A discount isn't always the answer, the answer to, to, your, um, to your product. So you can plug it into the Easy Coupons ShopRite. They have the app, um, and they have the Mobi site for different LSM. They have Facebook, so you can do everything I was showing you on the ShopRite app. If you go into the Checkers Facebook page, you can do the same thing. You look at all the specials, and you click Get Code, and it gives you a code. It's that simple. Um, this is something that is really exciting for me, the customer engagement side. So what I was thinking around there is often you take your car in for a service or maybe you just want to get a quote. And how many times we've heard it all, oh, so sorry, you know, we, said, we know we said it was going to be ready at 3 o'clock, but it's actually going to be ready tomorrow at 9. And it's like, uh, you're inconveniencing me, I'm sorry. And they could just turn around and say, we're so sorry, we know we said it would be ready at 3. It's not ready at 3. You know what? Here's a free cup of coffee at Vida. Please, won't you just wait for your card and go enjoy some Vida? Or we'll send you a voucher for uh, Kauai, for a smoothie. It's really hot. It's summer. And we know that we might have 
either made a mistake on your car or we didn't wash it properly or whatever the case might be. And we, we're basically engaging with our customers in this way. He's already coming into my store. Whether it's your fault or not, whether it's, whether it's a negative or complaints or compliments, thanks so much for giving us good feedback. Here's a free kawaii smoothie. And then also you can use it to strengthen customer relationships. So basically interaction and there's things like social media, Twitter, Facebook and so on. It gives you a nice way to interact with your customers, but it's, it would be nice to have some sort of reward attached to that. Some sort of, you know, uh, thanks for paying on time. I mean, I'm on a contract and I pay religiously every month on time. And as a brand, you have to chase those people who are not paying. So you're spending money to get money, but you're not spending money on me who pays you every month. You're not thanking me. I've never been thanked, no, not once, and I'm on a 24-month contract. It would be quite nice every two or three months for CLC to say, hey, Zach, thanks for paying on time every month. Here's a free smoothie. Just easy, simple, and th that would really make me love CLC even more. So those are just some ideas that I had. Um, I think what I would love to hear is more what projects you guys work on or what you guys do. And I'd, it would be nice to ha have a chat and see, see where you can use the tech. And if it's actually relevant to you, because it's not about, this is an exciting tech, let's do it. It's about, is it relevant? Can I use it right now? When can I use it? How is it relevant? And that's, that's that.